know, when God created you, he gave you all these gifts. That was like his gift to you. So I know what my gifts are. My gifts are organization. I love organizing things. God's given me some leadership gifts. I like that too. Communication. Believe it or not, he's given me some communication gifts. Here's what I didn't get. I don't know how to operate a power tool. And yet, Eight Days of Hope has rebuilt 7,540 homes across the country for free in the name of Jesus. Right? They don't give me a power tool because I'm not going to have all my fingers when I'm done. That's not my gift. I don't make food. I mean, I make macaroni and cheese. I make PB&J. It's, I make, you know, I grill a little bit, but I'm not that gifted in the, in the, but, so when God created you and I, he gave us gifts. <clears throat> your talent is God's gift to you, but what you do with it is your gift back to God. If you're taking notes, mark that down. Your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God. See, God has called us very clearly to use these gifts to serve others. God has called us. He's called you and I. Now, I'm a little bit older than all of you, maybe a lot older than all of you, but God has called you and me both together to be a glimpse of his son Jesus when we're in this world. Amen? God has called us. Do you agree with that? If you know Jesus, God has called us. So just say that. God has called us. So God doesn't make junk. God has called us. So do you have a servant's heart? What is a servant's heart? The servant's heart means to help others in love without expecting something in return. So your motives are pure. I don't do something nice for her because I want something nice back. No, a true servant's heart is helping others in love without expecting something in return. 